I am going to show you a short vinyasa flow. Whenever you're ready, you inhale, arms out and up, look up, palms touch. You exhale, you fold forward. Inhale, halfway up, lengthen. Exhale, palms to the floor. You're gonna step back and find plank. And from here, you bend your elbows, 90 degree angle. You shift your weight forward, you inhale, you lift and up. Exhale, down dog. Now from here, we lift the right leg up and we flip the dog. That's a baby back bend. You flip it back over and find lizard pose. Maybe stay here, maybe drop your elbows to the floor. And now we're gonna find Vashistasana. Side plank. You take down dog. You step forward, feet together, inhale halfway up. Exhale, fold. And this is the short flow. So now we're gonna lift the hips up. We're gonna look at the knees and lift one leg up. And we're gonna switch. Now we lift one arm up and we switch. Now maybe one arm up and the opposite leg up. Nice, we lift both legs up. We bring the thighs very close to the chest. And nice, now we try and get up. That's all. So I'm gonna show you now one arm balance that we call peacock. You're gonna bring your elbows together and rest your ribs on your elbows. You shift your weight forward. You lift one leg up and you lift the other leg up. I'm gonna show you the pike exercise. This is one of the hardest exercises in Pilates. So as you can see, I have a Swiss ball here. I'm gonna place my belly first on the ball, and then I walk my hands forward until I have my shins on the ball. We're gonna bring the knees in, that's all. We keep the shoulders on top of the wrists. And then the harder version of this you walk your hands forward until you have your feet on the ball. Then you keep your legs straight, you lift the hips up. This is an excellent core exercise. Maybe you can try it at home. One of the most important exercises for the upper back and the lower back, and the legs too. So we stand with the feet wider than the hips, toes out, heels in. We're gonna sit and roll, that's all. So you find your plie and you pull. And then you release. You bring your shoulder blades together, you keep your shoulders down, as if you're hiding your elbows behind your back. And you make sure you sit low, you're using your heels. You keep a proud chest here. So if you have a band at home, you do this exercise for three rounds of 15 repetitions. One of my favorite exercises for the upper body, for the arms, the shoulders, and the upper back. You're gonna stand with your feet together, your knees are soft, belly in. Now you're gonna draw a halo. And you reverse. Make sure your kettlebell is heavy and challenging. So you can see results when after you work out. My kettlebell is 15 pounds. We do this exercise 20 times, and then we repeat one or two times after this. 
One full body exercise, great for the arms and the legs. We extend the arms out. Make sure your weights are medium, so not too light. You're working your lats here too. We keep the belly in, strong core, shoulders down. We do not round the spine. And then do not forget to switch legs. Another full body movement. We're gonna squat down here, you step back. The arms are straight. We squat down and we pull the body forward. If you wanna make it more challenging, you walk your feet forward. You squat down, you lift your pull. We do this exercise at least 20 times. We rest and then we repeat. It is really important to switch it up every day and do something different. Like one day you do yoga, the next day you do cardio, and the third day you do weights, maybe, just to keep the flexibility in the body, the endurance, and the athleticism. And please watch your diet.